Hello, and welcome to the Ken Multipurpose Creative WordPress theme. This is video number seven on the child theme. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the basic child theme included with the Ken and go over some basic uses of the child theme. First things first, let's open up our WordPress dashboard here. The child theme is basically a theme that inherits the functionality of the main parent theme and allows you to put custom CSS and functions and modify the theme without changing any of the main themes files. So let me do a couple things here first. I'm gonna go back to our settings reading here. I'm gonna put our home page back to the default home page of the demo. Save changes. And we'll refresh. And we've got the demo that I started with here. I changed a couple slide things. We're going to be modifying some CSS down here in a little while, but let's go back and install our child theme. It's very simple. I'm going to go to Appearance Themes. And you're going to see right now that we're on the CAN 1.3.1. And we're going to hit Add New and I'm going to hit upload theme. First thing we got to do is choose a file. So we got to know where the file is and we got to get the file ready. So I'm going to go to my folders here and I've downloaded the Ken 1.3.1 and I'm going to extract all the files for the Ken. Go to that folder and in the main you're going to see kenchild.zip. That is what we want to upload and basically this zip file, I'll extract it, it contains the child theme files and in reality it comes with a functions PHP which you can add custom functions like if you use WooCommerce that's where I use most of the functions I'll drop it in there that way we're not modifying anything in the main theme and same with the style CSS you can add custom styles that uh, will be overridden whenever you put them in there from the main theme and if you update your main theme nothing's gonna happen to it and then there's a, just a screenshot file in there so let's go in here I'm gonna choose a file let's browse to our folder which we're actually I'm already right in the folder right there we're gonna pick kenchild.zip and we're gonna install it and you can do this the first time, but you'll probably never ever need to upload it again. Even if the file gets changed a little bit, you're going to edit it online, or you can do things via FTP. So let's activate the Ken Child. All right, so now you can see it says Ken Child Theme 1.0, and I'm going to hit refresh on this page just to. Make sure we're looking at the child version, which when you do that, it keeps all the theme settings that you had the same when you switch to the child theme. So now we've got the child theme loaded, we can go and take a look at it here. So if we go to the Appearance Editor, you'll see there's a Style CSS, which this is it right here. And right off the bat, the first things I like to do anytime there's theme updates I would like to change the version number to match the version of the current theme so I'm going to call this 1.3.1 and you can put your own name in here if you want to change the URLs one line you do not ever want to mess with is this one that says template Ken that tells the proper main theme name and if you change that then the child theme will not work anymore so I'm going to update this file. So now we've updated it. You can see if I go to my themes again here, the Ken Child theme is going to say, Buy me with version 1.3.1. Now let's say we want to add some custom CSS to our child theme. I'm going to use the inspect element in Google Chrome to just change this line here. These, uh, are the team member names alright and this is also a little tutorial on CSS 
you need to know about CSS before you start messing with CSS, obviously, but you'll see how easy it is to try to figure things out on your own. Basically, I right-clicked on this area that says Ann G. McClure, which is essentially the team member name in the theme. And I'm going to edit a couple things here that we want to change. Let's just say these are options that you can't change in theme options, so they must be done with custom CSS. So if I wanted this to be 25 pixels, you can see up here it changed already to 25 pixels. Let's say I didn't want to have it to be transform uppercase, we'll just say none. So now it's just using capital letters for the letters, as you, it's basically as you typed it. And let's say we want this to add it to be a different color. We'll just say something in here blue. There we go. So now it's blue. Now it's easy with Chrome, you can just take this CSS and steal it right out of this little box. I'm copying it and we'll go back to our themes editor and basically you're just going to replace this little area right here. I deleted that sample stuff and I'm going to paste in our custom CSS. Now I only changed a few items. You can at, the, at this point just delete things you know you didn't change. I didn't change that block. I didn't change the weight. I didn't change the margin. So just to save code and be clean, I'm only leaving the lines that I changed in there. Before I update this, I'm going to show you, if I hit refresh, this is the defaults. If I go back to our child theme and update the file, and I hit refresh, our text should be bigger and blue. And that's just a quick example on how to do something with a child theme and doing custom CSS. And that'll stick even if you do any theme updates. We also have the theme functions PHP, which I mentioned. This is where you can just throw in your own functions if you needed to do WooCommerce templates or or you can steal functions from the main theme and put them in here and modify them and they won't change with theme updates. So besides the styles and the functions, you can do more advanced things to make changes to the theme, such as actually replacing whole theme files. Rather than editing the core files, you can go and drop those core files into the child theme and modify them. I'm going to give you a for instance here. Let's go to let's go to our folder here. I guess I need to extract the the whole Ken here. So let's get the Ken extracted. And what I'm going to do is modify one of the files as a core file, the search PHP. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. If you go to search here at the top and type in, I don't know, profile. Let's just see if profile's in there anywhere. Nothing for profile. Either way, you can see here that the default search page, the sidebar is on the right-hand side. But let's say you wanted to have the sidebar be on the left-hand side for the search page. You can't do that in your theme options, so you must do it by using modifying the core theme file but you should always use the child theme so when you do an update you don't backtrack on your stuff. So I'm going to go back to our folder and I'm going to copy the search PHP to our little child theme folder that we set up here. Ken child. I'm just going to drop this search PHP right in here. Now I'm going to edit this file with notepad plus plus and at the very top of this specific file, you can see that the layout is set to the right. I'm going to simply change it to the left and save it. So at this point, we have to use FTP to drop that in there. So let's go to FileZilla and let's get on the FTP. And as we've gone through this before, all of the theme files are in WP Content Themes. And you'll see now we've got this folder Ken Child. I'm going to simply go find that file, which is in this folder 
1.31 main and in Ken Child we've got search PHP that's the file I just modified I'm throwing that up on the FTP so now when I hit refresh on this page it should flip-flop the sidebar because it's looking at the child theme first and there you go so it's that easy for modifying theme files core files and just dropping it into the child theme and now when you do an update it's not gonna mess up what you've changed to the core files and periodically there might be updates to the child theme but you should never ever upload the whole child theme that comes with the theme because you might have a bunch of custom CSS in here and if you obviously overwrite the child theme it's gonna ruin everything that you've done in your child theme so sometimes if there is an update you can always see that in the change log if there's an update to the child theme and I'm just gonna give you a for instance because we don't have any changes to the files but this is another Artbees theme Jupiter alright every once in a while there might be changes to these import URLs which possibly in the can there might be some you want to make sure that all you do is just drop in that section so let's just pretend which I'm gonna not save this that the next version of the theme says you need to put this at the top of your child theme then you just copy and paste it right in there and update the file don't ever try to overwrite the child theme with the newest one because you won't get the results that you want I promise so we've installed the child theme I've gone over a lot more than most people will ever show you about child themes and so now you know enough to be dangerous about child themes any other information you need you can always go to WordPress and read about how th things work and I'll put the link in the description of the video on the codex page for the child themes so that wraps up everything I can tell you about the child theme at this point Good luck and have fun with the can.